Hi guys, welcome back to another Cultureville video. One of our most requested things is to show you guys how to tie a head wrap. Whenever we meet people at events, um, online, um, and even just like we get invites to come do demos on how to tie head wraps. We can show you once when we meet you, but we want you to have something that you can look back on time and time again. That's why today, both of us are gonna be showing you some of our favorite head wrap styles. As you can see, I favor the bow. And I'm more of like a demure, hidden like tie and tuck sort of girl. <laughs> yeah, there's so many hairstyles so that you can do with styles. a head wrap. You can do a so, turban, so you can do something flamboyant, you can tie like something we like to call the ghillie. <laughs> but today we're just going to be showing you a few of our styles and do let us know if you want to see more, if you want to see it on a different type. We both have different hair types, so I have a curly hair. And I've got braids on right now. Yeah, and obviously you might have straight hair, you might have short hair. If you want to see on other things, just let us know. <laughs> So the first style I'll be showing you guys how to do today is what I like to call the unicorn turban. Now for all the head wraps that I'll be showing you how to do today, I'll be using Coachville head wraps. So I've just got this one in the Aura fabric and it's what I'll show you how to do it with. In order to do that style, all you have to do is get a head wrap, pop it behind your head and what I do next is I make one knot. And that is my knot. The next thing I do is I grab the two sides. So, this and this, like so and I start twisting one of the sides so I twist and as I twist I take it round so twist and turn twist and turn twist and turn and then when I get to the end I have a little piece of head wrap still in my hand a piece of fabric and I just tuck that under like so so you should be left with something a little like this. Then, with that second piece, I do the same thing. I twist and turn, twist and turn, twist and turn. And I keep that sort of like in the middle, um, my twists and my turns. So rather than making it a bigger round around, I keep that sort of in the center and then tuck it around itself and tuck it under itself so it's sort of like two two different um rounds on top of each other like so and then final step is just to shape everything so i want mine to sort of look like the picture um so i just make sure everything is tucked and squeezed hi guys so the head wrap i'm going to show you next is going to be the twist and tuck because it's got lots of twists on top so first thing i'm going to do is again i'm just going to fold my head wrap to a good size and um, so you can fold it twice or you can fold it three times till it's the length that you desire so i'm going to fold because i'm using a large head wrap i'm going to fold mine into three so when i'm done with my folding it's going to look like this this sort of size um, and then I'm gonna put it on my neck as like a good starting point and make sure that it's just like pretty equal on both sides then I'm gonna bring forward a cross section of hair that I want in front and do that on the other side too and then I'm just gonna raise this head wrap through where I've parted the hair and cross it over The nut is the base of every head wrap. Once I'm done with that, next thing I'm gonna do is essentially just twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it, and tuck it at the bottom, at the back, 
So like all the way back to that base where you started. You just want to tuck it in and there should be, it's pretty good because there's not too much hair disrupting what you're doing. So that's nicely tucked in. On this side, you're going to do a similar thing where you're just going to once again twist it on top like that until you get to the end and you're going to tuck it under and there you go. There's your little cute twist and tuck. So the first step is just grab your head wrap. For all of these I'm using Cultiful head wraps. This is the Aura head wrap in a size large. I'm going to pop it behind my head and then I'm just going to do one knot at the front. So the key here is to have it tight but not uncomfortable. So what you want to do after you've got that initial knot is grab one of the bits of your head wrap and we're going to do something I like to call the twist, turn and tuck. So you're going to grab one piece, you're going to turn it round while twisting all the way around your head, your Romanian head wrap pieces. And when you get to the end, you're just going to tuck that under. Then you're going to grab the second piece of head wrap that's still out, twist it round while turning it into a circle. And again, when you get to the end, you're just going to tuck that under. Now, the last bit is just to get any flyaway pieces and then just tuck them in. and then shape it as you like. And here you have it. This is my final turban look. The next style that I'm going to show you guys how to do is the bow. So what you want to do is grab your head wrap and fold it in half, like so. And then I'm just going to go in and fold mine in half again. So then you end up with a head wrap that's about this size. The next thing you want to do is just pop your head wrap behind your head. And the next step is to part your head, part your hair where you want your head wrap to go. And to achieve the bow style, what you want to do is just bring the head wrap up. Make sure your hair's not stuck in there. And then do two knots. So. One. And. Then once you're happy with the size of your head wrap, you want to flare that out to give it that full bow look. Just flare it out on that side and then flare it out on this side. And 
And there we have a full, beautiful bow. Next head wrap I'm showing you is using one of our silk head wraps. So I love a silk head wrap because it's just really different, it's really pretty and it just it's a different way to tie a head wrap. I'm going to be doing the halo style with this. So the first thing I've done is I've already folded this into three, right? So you can see it's folded behind. Um, and then next I'm going to put it on my neck because um, it's just a lot easier to put the head wrap in my hair for my neck. So now that I've got equal lengths on both sides, I'm going to bring forward the section of hair that I need to be in front when I'm done with my halo style. So just part in the hair like that. Then I'm gonna lift this high and I'm gonna do a knot on top. Just like that. And then once I'm done with doing the knot, I'm just gonna twist like that. And take it all the way to the back. pretty long so it might come all the way to this side and then tucking it under and then on this side we're gonna do the same thing but we're just gonna take it down bringing it all the way to the other side making sure our hair doesn't get tangled inside and tucking it under there you go you've got a beautiful silk fabric on your hair which is really good for your hair and it looks really pretty so the next style I'm going to show you how to do is a full head halo and what we're going to do is grab our head wrap and pop it on our head this time instead of doing a front knot we're going to do a back knot so we're going to do a knot at the back of our heads. So what we want to do is grab our head wrap and tie one knot at the back. And this is what it looks like. You don't want it too tight. You want it still to be comfortable. So the next step then is to do a twist all the way to the front so we're going to twist our head wrap all the way to the front twist 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 all the way to the front when we get to the front what we're going to do is just hold it under here this is what you should be looking like after just doing a twist with one side we're going to grab the other side and do the same thing so we're going to twist all the way up to the front. And then when we get up here, we just want to fold the second head wrap onto the first. So just get them to interlock. And now your final halo should look something like this. I'm going to be showing you a turban next and I'm using one of our silk head wraps. Of course you can do the style in silk or in Kara. So, um, Ankara is wax print, it's also known as Kitenge, it's also known as Batik, so yeah. Um, so I'm going to fold it over once, I'm going to fold it over once again. 
Once I'm done with that, I'm going to put it onto my neck um, just to give me a chance to put the hair real easy. So here we go, I'm putting the hair just a little bit out front is the way I like it. Of course you might like yours with nothing in front, like you might just want it at the very front or just do it to your taste. Do a knot first and foremost to secure whatever it is you're going to tie. A knot just keeps things super cute and you don't have to worry about it sliding up or anything like that. It's very secure. Once the knot is done, I'm just going to do a simple crossover that's super stylish. So kind of like crossing this two over like that. And once I do that, it just gives me like a nice shape up here. And then I'm just going to simply take this down to the end and tuck it under. The good thing about our silk head wraps is they're really nice and long and you're just gonna tuck it under like that and then I'm gonna take the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna take it down to the end and I'm gonna tuck it under. Yeah. That's done and then you can kind of move this to wherever you would like it. And there is the mini turban. The next head wrap I'm going to be showing you how to do is a raised turban and I'm going to be using one of Culturefill silk scarves which look like this. So what I do for this look is I just pop the head wrap behind my head and I do one tie, one knot at the front. And this is what it's looking like after the knot and then what I do is I grab this middle piece and I tuck it under here to give me some added volume at the top so my next step I do another knot like so <laughs> and then I just tuck the two pieces under so I grab this piece bring it all the way to the back and tuck it under at the back and then I grab this piece and bring it all the way to the back and tuck it under at the back and this is what my raised turban looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Like we appreciate the time you've taken and we hope that it's a really useful tool for you. Like save it, come back to it whenever you need it. And um, yeah, we hope to see you guys next time. If there's anything in particular you wanna see, just let us know and we'd be happy to oblige. Yeah, and if you do try out one of these head wrap styles, make sure you tag us on Instagram at Cultureville. And make sure while you're there, you follow us. We're on all social platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I work Cultureville on all of them. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell before you leave. Bye. Bye.